Hello, I'm Tom Harmon. I'm a docent here at Stranahan House, and I'm also part of the educational um, staff on the program here for field trips and um, other educational um, projects such as this. And uh, I'm here to tell you a story about me meeting Ivy Stranahan. I was in high school at Fort Lauderdale High School, 1968, and I was uh, hiding out in the library because there was a pep rally going on and I didn't really want to attend that. So I was in the library uh, and the librarian came up to me and said, Tom, would you like to meet Ivy Stranahan? Now I, I'd been in Fort Lauderdale just uh, about a year at this time, and, but I did know the Stranahan name and part of the story. And of course I said, yes. And so Ivy Berryhill, the librarian, uh, brought me over, brought this lady over who was kind of walking slow. I mean, she was in her late eighties. Uh, you could tell she had cataracts, real thick glasses. But uh, I uh, put out my hand to shake it and her hand came up and the grip on this lady was phenomenal. And there was an aura about her that I, I still remember today. I don't remember the conversation I had with her, um, but I do remember uh, this uh, frail, short lady with this powerful aura about her. And I found out later that Ivy Berryhill, the librarian, was named after Ivy Stranahan because Ivy Berryhill's father was partner uh, for a while with Frank Stranahan in, in his businesses. So Ivy Berryhill was uh, named after Ivy Stranahan. And just that meeting with, with her, brief but powerful, I think really uh, connected me to come here and work and share her story with everybody that comes into the house. Thanks for listening.